So I want to show you guys a trick using T-Shark, which is basically the command line version of Wireshark. So if you're looking for malware, a lot of times malware uses strange looking user agent strings in HTTP requests. But wait, I think I'm wearing the wrong hat. There we go. So this is typically a blue team thing. So let's do this. So let's find those user agent strings. This is our string. So we're going to say T shark and I'm going to read in the trace file. Now T is going to be where I can tell it how I want to export the data. Now I want the fields and then I tell it which field I want with dash E. So T shark is going to read through and it's going to export all those out to me, but I don't want just want that. I just want to also make this sorted. Okay. So here I see the list of user agent strings, but as you can see, I see a few duplicates and a little bit harder to read. So I'm going to go ahead and up arrow this time. I'm going to say unique dash C. So it'll pull that list and show me the number of incidents of each unique string. Now, one of them looks pretty normal. We can see the four that I got there, but those other ones look a little suspicious. So I want to dig a little further to see if those machines have been infected with malware. 